Hi, I'm Jason. I move big stuff around the country, and I'm working for our father. Enjoy this Snapshot podcast. Brian was an engineer by training. He had held several positions for a Fortune 200 company when he was asked to manage a plant manufacturing aerospace parts. It was in northwest Arizona, far from his roots in Indiana. Brian and his wife Beth would leave behind a close-knit group of relatives, good schools, and Christian friends who were like family. The environment in Arizona was very different. Family strife and domestic violence were not uncommon. The dropout rate at the local high school was 35%. There was very little sense of community. The factory Brian was to manage was reflected in this culture. Quarrels between workers were common. Backbiting, gossip, rough language, and conflict were prevalent. There was no means for settling disputes. No sense of teamwork. Little trust existed between management and workers, much less among the workers themselves. Brian called his new leadership team together and told them that certain kinds of speech like vulgarity, gossip, and ruining a person's reputation would not be tolerated. He said the same thing at the next all-factory meeting. Procedures were put in place to resolve disagreements. Incentives and bonuses for workers were set. He encouraged and supported employees in taking college correspondence courses. He gave his employees a vision of how the airplane parts they manufactured could end up in planes carrying their families and relatives. He hosted all factory social events to boost morale, build relationships, and let them know they were in this together. Brian's whole family would usually show up for these events. Brian and his wife Beth had an impact outside the factory with neighbors, other families, and young people who came into contact with their children. Beth hosted prayer and Bible study sessions with neighbors and mothers. Brian and Beth set an example for supporting their children by hosting parties where the kids could have fun and stay out of trouble. Things changed in the factory and it could be linked to Brian and Beth's arrival. They had brought the kingdom of God with them. The presence of Christ was being manifest to his employees by treating them with respect, setting up ways to resolve disputes, encouraging personal development and growth, rewarding good work, and bringing truth and fairness into the dealings between management and workers. The factory's performance improved with a 33% increase in sales and a 75% increase in profitability. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. John 15, 8, 9. Where better to find common ground and common interests with people than our workplaces? This is where we spend 60% of our waking hours and work side by side with all kinds of people. The workplace is a big part of our mission field where we work for our Father. We are called to be the salt and light there, to do our part in helping all experience the kingdom of God firsthand. We don't have to be a general manager in a factory to have this impact. Any one of us, at any level, can bring Christ's love, care, and the kingdom culture to all people and circumstances, even to those who are not very likable. Listen to how the message translates Paul's commitment in 1 Corinthians 9, 19 through 23. I have voluntarily become a servant to any and all in order to reach a wide range of people, religious, non-religious, meticulous moralists, loose living immoralists, the defeated, the demoralized, whoever. I didn't take on their way of life. I kept my bearings in Christ, but I entered their world and tried to experience things from their point of view. I didn't just want to talk about it. I wanted to be in on it. We are not here to find fault, judge, or argue. We are here to make the life of Christ visible. No matter the situation, our faith should be honest, humble, and true. Our integrity consistent, honorable, and just. And our work conscientious, reliable, and excellent. 
we have first-hand knowledge and experience from our own life-changing relationships with Jesus. Laboring together in our work environments, we build on the common ground of the work we share. Opportunities present themselves to demonstrate our life of faith, acting with integrity in all dealings and displaying the highest degree of excellence in our work and relationships. We show the world how the gospel is lived and management and stockholders won't complain about the improved work environment, the improved efficiency, and increased employee retention. They may even encourage more of Christ's presence in the marketplace. Father, I ask that you give me your eyes of mercy and compassion for those I work with and what lies before me today. Let me not find fault, judge, or argue. Rather, let the life of Christ be visible in me today. Snapshot Podcasts are a project of Worklight. For more resources like this one, visit us at worklight.org to sign up for our Flame monthly newsletter and our Workday Spark Reflections. While you're there, be sure to learn more about Challenge Weekends, small groups, and how to become an igniter for Christ.